Good morning. It's uh, Wednesday, December the 2nd, 2015, about 7.05 a.m. and 58 degrees. And as the sun comes up uh, a lot more to the right than it did in the summer, I guess the earth is tilting to make the seasons. We're getting ready to go to Charleston. Larry's got an appointment with the new heart specialist today. We've got to be there at 9.10. We're on our way back to Charleston, and the same road we took yesterday, so we're not going to film it again, but the clouds are pretty, and there's still a little bit of fog. We're just sitting here waiting on the doctor. The nurse has already been in and took his blood pressure, and it was good. This is a different doctor in the same building in the same area, just different side of the hall where we were before. This is the plumber, not electrician. Yeah, <laughs> this is the plumber, not the electrician. <laughs> the doctor just left, and he thinks the best thing to do, we don't have to rush into anything, but he wants to do a, a cath, a heart cath, so he can look at where the problem is and see if they need to do a stent or not. And so he's going to schedule that for a week from Thursday. Just have to wait and see, and see what he finds then, if it's if it needs any more attention done now. He said sometimes you don't have to do anything to them, they'll be fine, but sometimes it's better just to look and know. So he wants to do that. Here at Food Lion, I gotta get uh, supplies to make a coconut pie for uh, Friday night. Open the window, it's 69 degrees in here and 70 outside. There's rain in the forecast for this afternoon and it looks like the clouds are coming. Just all gray. Now he's picking up the last of the firewood out of the, out of the wagon, so it'll stay dry. We decided to freeze our spaghetti sauce instead of canning it. So we had to put it in the refrigerator overnight to cool down because it was too hot last night to put in the uh, bags. Fill in the bags. This is the last pot. I don't think it's quite as thick as the other two. Bag. Making me hungry. Yeah. Bagging them up went pretty fast. We've got 14 and a half pints. Those were paint bags and we got 14. And the last one there was just a half of one. So 14 and a half. Now I'm working on the pumpkin. Cut the top out of it and cut it in half. This is the seeds. This is the seeds out of one half of it. And now I gotta scrape all the insides out of that half before I start on the other one. That's where I'm at. I'm giving up on this pumpkin. Uh, this is, well, I'm gonna take the seeds out of that half. And that's half the seeds I'm gonna roast. But the inside, I don't know if all of this, this is just like spaghetti in here. And I don't know if that's part of the pumpkin or not. And this right here is but all the, all the other parts down under there where I scraped all that out. And I'm just not able to, I scraped all that out. I'm just not able to figure out where, where the pumpkin, when I stop scraping. And I'm tired of scraping. I don't like pumpkin that much anyway, so I'm just going to quit. I'm going to roast the seeds. You can't tell what it is from here, but those lights are the manger scene. And with the wise men and Joseph and Mary and baby Jesus, that's what all those lights are. And that's just what we have nightly when we're not doing the nativity play. Larry had to be here at church for at 6.30 for his finance meeting, so I'm the only one out here. So I thought it's a good chance to film the church. Maybe try to get a better one than what I had the other day. Well, all the stained glass windows, it's dark out. You can't see them. 
You can see the greenery and the bow. You know, the windows. Almost, you can almost see it. The lights are pretty way up there. But you can't see the wreath in the front. And there's the Christmas tree. I said Lowry helped decorate it, but he also helped put it up. I think we have a pretty church. The rain started today about a half hour after I showed you the clouds. So it's late, so I'll say good night. God bless.